whole point of me coming out here was to come out here and have a bit of fun, which I'm doing. There was nowhere in the contract that we, that we signed and said no tattoos, so there's nothing wrong with it. In India, tattoo parlours are unlicensed. So worried for his safety, a senior member of the production team arrives to stop the tattoo. Could I insist that you stop, please? No. Excuse me, could I insist that you stop? It's almost finished. Could, could I insist that you stop? I insist that you carry on. Um, no, Peter, I'm, I'm insisting that you stop. We're, we, are, we are responsible for you while you're here. I don't I care. That I don't care. It's almost finished. I insist, I insist. Let's let him finish it. It's like the tiniest no, amount I, left. I, I absolutely insist that you stop. Oh, shut up. Now. Don't be such a twat. Peter is finally persuaded to leave the parlour with an unfinished tattoo. All right. How are you? Yeah. Back at the flat, and Siddharth's horrified by Peter's antics. Well, it's not exactly the best thing you've done, Dave. Eh? Yeah, I don't care about yeah. that. Huh? I don't care about that. But I got, I got um, wisdom written in Hindi. What did you say? It's called? It's like Guang or something like that. Yeah. Are you, how are you going to tell my dad about this? It's all, right. it's all good. At dinner time, Peter has to face Uni. How do you feel about what you've done? Um, you oh, be honest with me. I'm, I'm like glad I got it. Yeah. I'm, I'm annoyed that it was stopped, yeah. so it's not fully finished. I mean, it's my, it's my body. I mean, it's my choice whether or not I deface it. You are under my parenthood, and this is something which will have an impact on you permanently. And in India, there are places where they may use uh, needles repeatedly and other than drugs one place uh, where you get uh, inflicted with uh, HIV is uh, tattoos so you are staking your life unknowingly without realizing what you've done but Peter realizes it might not just be him who gets it in the neck What's happening? Is there anything happening to your driver? Because um, like, I've been told that like, you might sort of sack him, but I'd be like really, really annoyed if that happened. And like, I asked him to stop and that, so I don't think like he should get be like reprimanded for it. I think he didn't really know what was going on. He trusted you. So his was a blind faith in a young boy who came from London. So let me mull over that for the night. What am I going to do with him? Before you decide, do you think you could, like, let me know what you're going to do? Look, if I can take so many decisions of hiring 5,000 people and maybe firing a couple of hundred out of that in a year, I'm sure I'll take a fair decision. I'm containing my feelings at this point of time. I had want him to be undergoing the tension for the night. That what would happen to the driver. That's a punishment for him. He's obviously not very happy. It's quite annoying as well, not knowing what's going to happen. Like, I asked him like, if he could let me know what happens before he like, makes a decision. And he was just like, I'll make, I'll make a fair decision. I'm in charge of all these people. I was like, all right, so I don't think I'll find out what happens until it happens. After a restless night, Peter's anxious to know Uni's verdict. What have you decided about what you're going to do with um, your driver? Well, I'm giving him the benefit of doubt because he's worked with me for more number of years, and. He has shown his integrity and uh, honesty for uh, years together. Giving credence for that, I'm deciding to keep him. All right. Good. But please recognize for a fact that this is the way in life you can put others also into trouble. Imagine that if I did not think properly and the fit of anger, if I were to sack him, he's got a father, mother not working, a wife still shedding and a small child. And the entire family survives on the income generated by this particular person. I thought that I would get away with it really easily. 
Okay. But then when when I got caught in that and I, I got told that the drug could get sacked, I felt like really bad and that. It was a big mistake. 